Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today, I present the perennial answer to the question, what is the best dive watch I haven't yet considered? The Carl F. Bucher Petravi Scuba Tech. 44 millimeters in robust stainless steel. You can see this extraordinarily deluxe watch and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included, high resolution images for your desktop and naturally complete pricing details for this 500 meter stainless steel diving chronometer. This watch comes loaded with feature content and it starts with a remarkably original look. Although the dive watch class is governed by certain international standards, the ISO 6425 limits what can be done at the extremes. This is one of the most original efforts in the class. Beautifully angular with gorgeous creases. The metalwork is fantastic across the 44 millimeter width of the case that's not inclusive of the crown or crown guards. It's not excessively thick. At 13.5 millimeters with a sloped bezel, this is a watch you can wear with most tight sleeves and dress cuffs. Beautifully versatile aesthetically, it also has the compact height to work well with a tight sleeve. And from lug to lug, it's substantial, but the shape of the lugs really matters here. 52 millimeters from lug to lug is the measurement if you're to sling it commando style on a strap. On this highly substantial Bucherer bracelet, you can see it extends to a robust 56.5 millimeters across the wrist. Now, while such dimensions might cause the memory to recall the likes of the Rolex Deep Sea or even certain oversized Panerai references. This watch wears compact and on my 16 centimeter wrist, I'm not at the lower limit for wearing this watch comfortably, even on the bracelet. I believe as small as 15, maybe even 14 and a half centimeters in circumference, you're gonna wear this watch with security, style, and a good appearance of proportion, simply because of the way the bracelet and the lugs wrap themselves tightly around the wrist. It really does trace the arc of your forearm. So fans of big watches with relatively small smaller arms, rejoice, the scuba tech is for you, and for me for that matter. I love everything about the substance of this watch and its sub-assemblies. Let's start with the bracelet. As you can see, beautifully finished, alternately satin and polished. It also features a lot of physical heft, such that in the hand, it's almost an occasion in and of itself, very special. It terminates in a double folding Carl F. Bucher steel clasp. Now you can see, no nonsense, but beautifully finished satin even on the inside, beautifully satin finished on the outside. It features one of the best incremental adjustments in the business. Now yes, it can go all or nothing if you want to adjust it in or out over a dive suit. You have a lot of play and incremental adjustment. So if you don't want to go all or nothing, you have those detents. So you can take in a little or take out a lot as activity, inactivity, hot or cold dictate Rolex's system quite frankly, might achieve the same effect, but not with the same satisfaction in the hand. I love the push button actuation of this one to release and slide it. Again, all of the links, like individual bank vaults, but beautifully arrayed. It's lighter on the wrist than something like a three link Rolex Oyster because the links are individually smaller. And as you can see from the bottom, there are plenty of gaps and channels between the links to avoid pinching skin, pulling hair, or trapping moisture, heat, sweat, grit, and oil on the wrist on a hot day. The watch is anything but generic in its lines. You can see this massive case attached to an equally massive bracelet the right way using screws, not spindly spring bars on the case flank. The helium escape valve for you saturation divers. If you're not using it, guess what? It's far less obtrusive than the ones featured on Omega Planet Ocean and 300 meter divers. A great conversation piece and yet almost completely invisible when you view the watch from its overhead profile. The lugs are wonderfully angular and sculpted with a beautiful contrasting polished bevel and satin finished flanks and top. They terminate in a wonderfully knurled bezel that's a pleasure to use. A good bezel can make, just as a bad bezel can break a dive watch. The detents are superb, crisp, they feel good, they sound good. You can see the ceramic inserts on the top for long wearing durability, highly scratch resistant. You can align the ceramic capped luminescent index with the oversized luminescent minute hand and now time an interval from zero to 60 minutes impromptu. I find it more convenient and legible than a chronograph. The dial is wonderfully built with applied and highly luminescent polished individual indices. There's the Carl F. Bucher marquee with its shock of red at 12 o'clock. The hands are easily read against the Manta motif backdrop. And yes, that is a Manta motif. How do I know? Because 
The full scale rendition is given to you on the case back. So the overlapping mantis, without being perhaps overtly biomorphic, add a nice nod and a wink to the case back theme of the watch, while at the same time differentiating the black base and almost giving it a little bit of a 3D appearance. There is a date at 3 o'clock and there is a quick set function to rapidly cycle it. You'll note the watch is a chronometer and inside is a Solita SW220 in COSC chronometer spec, automatic winding with a 38 hour power reserve. It also features refinements including hacking seconds, so when you unscrew the beautifully made and color inset double knurled crown you can actually pull it to extremity hack the balance stop the second synchronize to a reference timer and there is a quick set for rapidly cycling the date for correction this is a watch that gives you everything at an outstanding value a competitor in the dive watch class against almost any competition it's also one of the most impressive sports watches available on the market you can see and you can purchase this Carl F. Bucher Petravi Scubatech on our website